Can you hear me? Up. Yes, it was my time. Just a little bit. Just a little bit? <laughs> Alright. Alright, so how's everybody doing today? Good? Good. Alright, first things first, can you guys help me out? I, I, I need to shift the energy in the room a little bit. Can, can we all move up a little bit? Can we do that? Can you help me out? No? I mean, I'm going to move up a little bit. Can you do that? I'm going to move up a little bit. Everybody move your seats up a little bit. Let's move all y'all up here. Everybody move your seats up. Let's move these seats up. I need to get right with you. I'll post the first one. I'll be down here with you guys and we'll talk to you and I'll have a good time. Ready? Dina, this is going to be interactive. We need to shift the energy. We need to get the energy right here. So we want to make sure that we can see you here and feel everybody in the room. So we appreciate that.
Let's just take a genius rule. When I looked at that, I'm working eight hours a day for eight dollars an hour, and somebody made sixty dollars in an hour. It kind of totally shifted my perspective and said, "Well, how can I do more and do better and get myself into a situation where the kind of bring me to today?" We we'll started one recourse business podcast. Now I have a marketing background. I worked with the likes of Beyonce, uh, Baby Fat, with consumer branding goods. So I had the opportunity to get a real feel for marketing as a person. Each and every single one of you is a brand that represents yourself, and that's how you perceive when you go up there and go out there. I related that to, well, if that's the case, then everything I do should be in according to how I want people to see me, which is a form of business, which made going into business extremely simple because I just thought about, well, how do I want to be perceived at the end of the day? So, together, you know, at one point in time, just to kind of give you a background how we came together, you know, how our story. In, in my years of business, I actually started uh, a networking group where I did a lot of community work. Um, a lot of some of the events that you see on this uh, screen here were published in Newsday, and you know, I, I did a lot to really uh, touch the business community. And I was actually at the African Chamber of Commerce event, and I actually met Dennis here, where we both connected, and uh, you know, we just built a relationship. And that's one thing that's key. If you get anything from here, it's all about building relationships in, in the world of business. You know, with with your colleagues, your classmates, whoever you work with, or whatever the case may be. Uh, the better the relationship that you build, the more powerful you can become because it's not what you know, it's not really who you know. So we got connected and uh, one day he came to me and he said, you know what, I, I want to start this idea. And I uh, was like, all right, well, what are you telling me about? I said, I don't know how to really get it going. And then he was like, I want to start a podcast. Now, how many people here are familiar with what a podcast is? All right, so we got a small, a small percentage of the room. But, but, but basically, when we talk about what a podcast is, it's really, and one, we're gonna do a social experiment here because in a minute you're all gonna be a part of one. Um, but typically, it's you're really taking a moment in time where you're sharing a, on a specific topic in your either, whether it's video, it's recorded, audio, in, in an audio form or a video form, about a topic that might be important to you or whoever you want your viewership or listeners to, to basically witness about what you're talking about. So he wanted to create this idea. I had absolutely no idea what he was talking about, but at the end of the day, as a business consultant, I know how to get things done. So what, what we came about with this idea, and we started, you know, what we're doing now today is called the One Recourse Radio Podcast. Dennis, you got anything you want to say about, about that process? Well, the process was one of the things that actually brought us here today with creating the podcast. It was more so how do we have the opportunity to reach more people in the minimalist amount of ways. You know, clearly I can't talk to everybody, I can't shake everybody's hand, but with the power of a podcast, it gave me the opportunity to reach more people in the stream. In today's day and age, everything is media, whether it's social media, uh, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, however it may be, you're always interacting and you're doing your own form of some type of podcasting, but we decided to focus a little bit more, which gives us the opportunity to present the One Recourse podcast to you guys today. And we're gonna go into explaining how a podcast works and how it actually benefits you guys and what you may be wanting to do, whether it's having fun or it's actually making a cause of change in somebody's life. And the thing I would say is with, you know, with our experience, uh, with, since we've had this podcast now, we're going on three years. Uh, you know, we, you know, about 300 people listen to our podcast on a month to month basis. Or multiple countries where, we, where our listeners are hearing us out and hearing what we have to talk about. And we're really centered and focused on uh, business entertainment. So through the process of it, um, you know, we, we talk to a number of different companies, organizations, people, advocates, and today we're gonna to talk to you about your future here today. Um, the topic that we were told that we were gonna dive into this together is called, we're gonna call it Keep It 100. We're gonna talk Keeping It 100. And uh, today we're going to talk about to you what that's all about. But um, basically, we're going to turn this conversation here, this dialogue, into a live discussion. So we talk about what a podcast is, but um, let me talk to you about why it's important about why podcasting could be important. With, 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 with today's society, information, technology, everything that's the way we do business, the way we bank, the way we, you know get our information uh, as far as through school. I know when I was in school, we didn't have smart, I don't, even, I, I don't think I ever saw what a smart board, smart board was when I was in school. But now, there's so much information that really takes the access that you have and gives you more of an advantage today than you ever had, than we ever had growing up. So typically, 
when it comes to podcasting and how this form of technology, your voice is more powerful than it ever has been before. So if there's a thought in your mind uh, that you might have, and there's something that you want to talk about, something you want to discuss, the technology is so much more available to you today, that's going to allow you to get that message out, you know, or maybe further than Snapchat, but just like a Snapchat, just like Instagram, I know everybody's on it and utilizing it. But there's so many different aspects that podcasts will allow you to, to reach your message and expound it in other areas. So when it comes to you know our podcast, what we've done with it, like I said before, we basically uh, have been able to create a platform where you know we can dive into the minds of whoever our listener is. So today, it might be for yourself, we're going to dive into your thoughts of what you want to talk about. Uh, we've also had an opportunity to. <coughs> uh, to meet uh, community advocates. And this gentleman right here is by the name of Nehemiah Davis. Uh, you might have seen him on television. He was actually what, what's called a Hoodie Award winner. Most people are, are familiar with who Steve Harvey is. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So he was actually on the Steve Harvey show where he was in, uh, where he was actually was a Hoodie Award winner and he came to, um, to be recognized for all of this activism that he's done. So he was on our show. Uh, we had a gentleman by the name of uh, uh, sh uh, his name is Sugar, the Sean Sugar Ray um, Morrison, uh, which basically is an author. So we have people who've written uh, literary works that have been on our podcast. People have done community work, and we've also, you know, for those how many people like music here? We are, I, I saw some people vibing a little bit to the DJ. Shout out to the DJ back there. Uh, so we had a record label come on our show and talk about what's going on with music. So when it comes to podcasting and when it comes to <coughs> information, just these types of platforms can allow you to expound your reach, expound your thoughts, and expound who you want to talk to and who you want to listen. No, I mean, you kind of pretty much said it all right there with the opportunity of what that also gave us to do, speaking to people who are well beyond our means, speaking to people we can learn from, and also with their message being able to educate. We all have something to say, but we often don't all have that platform in order to say it. So we never know who you're going to come across, and we never know who we're going to come across but we like to be able to have the opportunity to expound on that. So, with that being said, let's get right into it. <laughs> Good stuff, man. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, now we got the formalities uh, uh, done here, we're going to actually conduct um, a live social experiment. How many, how many want to participate in that? Okay, okay. Go ahead. so we're going to we gonna need some bold and audacious students here. So we're going to need four volunteers to get us started. All right, so we got these two gentlemen here. Come on up. All right, we got a uh, gentleman right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on up. Yeah, come on up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Somebody on this side. Thank you. 
Uh, today, being that we are, this is what we call a warm record live moment. Everybody else is going to be our live moment recording. So give yourselves a round of applause. For you. Thank you. Thank you. So, so basically, we're taking you through our phase of what we create our show. Right now, we, we've done about close to 50 shows. Um, which, you know, if you go on your phone, you can check us out, www.warmrecord.com forward slash podcast. Feel free to subscribe. Um, <laughs> but uh, we've done about 50 shows, and uh, we're going to take you through our process of what we do when we create any of our podcast episodes, from pre-production all the way to the finish. So hopefully you have enough time to do that, uh, but let's go ahead and start it off. First things first. First things first, you need a topic. So typically when we have our shows and we figure out you know, who we're going to bring on as a guest, we tend to create a topic. So what's our topic for today? The topic for today is called Keeping It 100. Uh, basically, from what we were told, there's a lot of issues that aren't necessarily addressed uh, in this particular community that we want to give you the opportunity to talk about freely. You know, and that can, we're going to figure out what those are. Uh, our co-host here are going to be helping us out and facilitating this discussion. And these, look, these gentlemen are very studious. They look like they know what they're talking about. They look like they have their hand to the pulse of what's going on with, with, with this age group, correct? All right, so. So basically, that's the name of our topic. So what's going to happen here? There's going to be a number of different things that you're going to want to discuss. Our co-host is our audience. We're going to help us out and figure out what that is. So the next thing that we got to do is come up with some talking points. All right? So I'm going to start off with my co-host here. Now, what's the age group? Uh, it's about what, 14 to 18 here, correct? 14 to 17? All right. So what's going on in your life today? What's, what's, what's the story? What, what are some of the issues that uh, we can keep 100 about. Yes. But you want to keep 100. Your teacher won't let you do it. Your parents won't let you do it. What do you want to talk about today? Well, Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. All right, so get specific. What, what, what's, what's your name again? Oh. Weston. All right. So we went to them in the morning, right? Before you go to school, put on the school, let the jacket on. All right. What do you, what's the thing that, that you think about that, I don't know, maybe you would want to talk to somebody about and address it? Music. I'll, I'll make sure our, our live audience can 
participate. And it's cool because if you got something else, you can figure this out together. So we got we got uh, genres of music in theater, being comfortable in your own skin, and being different. These are all the good talking points that we can keep in the hundred about. So again, I can get all, I can get all the love out there. So is there something else that y'all want to keep in the hundred about? We're at the topic. They might want to want to bring up. We have the topic. School stress, work stress, girl stress. All right, so we're similar to the relationships. All right, all right. So stress, I mean, stress is a real factor. That's something that we all go through. It's something that we all got to figure out how to maintain, how we handle it. So it's definitely a good topic. Is there any other topics anybody might feel free they want to talk about? So show of hands on stress. How many of y'all want to talk about relate with that? Okay, okay. Okay, all right, so that's all right. So I heard stress. Mm -hmm. Is it relational? Is that relational stress? Relationship stress that we all go through, right? Or is it stress all together? I think it was relationship stress. Okay, so we got relationship <laughs> stress. All right. So we got music and theater. And then we have uh, being different. And we also got being comfortable in one skin. <clears throat> All right, so time for the sake of time, we want to pick two. So I'm gonna need uh, a show of hands. So for those that want to talk about stress, raise your hand. Okay. Music and theater, raise your hand. I, I, I saw a lot of music lovers before. Where is he? I think stress I think y'all yeah. stressed out. I think stress part wanted out. Stressed out. And being different. Being different. Okay. Looks like we got music, theater, and stress. And being comfortable in one's skin. Mm, okay. So it looks like I should, we got being comfortable in one's skin and stress. Alright. So that's, that's so those are going to be our talking points. For the time being, if we got some more time, we'll go with the music. All right. So we covered two out of the four. So, so the third thing we want to make sure we do when you have a podcast episode is that you want to have a call to action. Because at the end of the day, we're going to have a kind of conversation. We're going to have a dialogue, correct? Right? Some of y'all are going to fall asleep on me. Some of y'all are going to fall asleep. You're not going to hear me the first time. You're not going to hear your, your co host you probably want to go back, and typically when you have some type of a show, you want to have a call to action on how they can get the information again. So I got so a lot of times when we do our show, we say go ahead and subscribe to such and such uh, onereports.com forward slash podcast, and they can subscribe on all platforms, iTunes, Google Play, so forth and so on, Instagram, whatever the case may be. So we got to figure out what our call to action is today. And I'm going to ask my co-hosts. Right, this is our. This is our this is our, uh, this is our, 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 our team. So what do we want? Once we discuss everything that we're going to discuss today, what do we want? The, what do we want the audience and all of the listeners to do for us after they're done hearing our show? Subscribe. What are they subscribing to? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we're going to subscribe to, to uh, Facebook.com forward slash I don't know. Is that cool? <laughs> that's cool. No. That's cool. Yeah. That's where you're going to find the show at. Yeah. yeah. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. So remember that, my codes. Remember, facebook.com forward slash I don't know. Cool? <laughs> All right, <laughs> good deal. All right, so we got three out of the four done. What's the last thing we gotta do? We gotta have a good intro. I see all my uh, students here. We got the leather jacket on. I see you got this nice little the situation. Oh, that's a nice chain right there. I like that. Straight from Wakanda. Oh, straight from Wakanda. Okay, okay. there you go. We got a lot of swag over here. So we need a good intro. So how are we going to introduce our show? Can you start it? Slow. Okay. You might need the DJ there, right? Yeah. DJ, <laughs> are you going to do it? <laughs> I 
been moving calm, stop in trouble with me. Try to keep it peaceful, it's a struggle for me. Don't pull up at 6 a.m. and call with me. You know how. Y'all sound like y'all that. Can we get another one? We got another one.
I'm feel, I'm like I'm like feeling myself. This is who I am. This is what I like to do. And just have fun with that. All right. That's all. Right.
that other room that's going to be stations. Those stations will be broken down. So before we go over there, we do about two to one. Seven. Seven. We got two to seven. So right now, before we step out, we're going to break those things. Bless you. Anyway, before we transition, we're going to break down the two to seven. I understand you got here on your own will, right? Nobody was forced to be here, right? Nobody kind of decided to be here today, right? So let's make the most of this, right? As you break down into groups of seven and we try to sit you to the other room, your cell phones. Hey, these gentlemen are here to assist you, right? To give you some info and some stuff. So hey, put those cell phones away, right? Don't worry about Snapchat, Instagram, or whatever, you know, Tinder, or whatever you're using. Right? Put that stress away. As you transition, Pay attention because there might be some information that might be useful to you. So give these people the undivided attention as you go to the next room. You have seven minutes in each day. You seem to be like a roundabout. So before you depart here, make sure you got all your belongings. Make sure you put your cell phones away. And make sure you got groups of seven. I'm not going to break them down. I'm not